Hey guys, this is Brian McComas. I want to make a video for YouTube. Uh, real quick, I want to go over um, some of the uh, moves of Wing Chun. This is not all of them. This is just a, a good start because we learn to say the words in Cantonese, but yet when we're speaking English, sometimes we get tongue-tied or else we get uh, confused. Like uh, the difference between jum, uh, gone, quan, um, jut and jum, uh, they all get filtered because they kind of sound alike in English. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over them really fast on here. So first we get in our Yi Ji Kim Young Ma stance and we open up with the Wu Sao and Man, the, the Man Sao Wu Sao. Man Sao is actually the one more towards your opponent while Wu Sao is to be kept, uh, within your range now when you do Wu Sao a lot of people do it wrong when I put it up to their chest or they have it too far out Wu Sao should be almost two fist distances away from your chest almost all right I would never have it too close don't have it like don't like have it to here to where um I always heard don't have it to where you could look down and stick your tongue out and touch your finger okay so in other words I, you know this is about perfect um, you also want to make sure your elbow is at your side and it's still tucked in. So this is Wu Sao. The other hand out here is Man Sao. Then we have we have Man Sao and Wu Sao. We have Tan. Now Tan it means dispersing hand. There's a lot of people that will imitate this on YouTube and they will not do it right. They come out like this. No, no, no. We are going forward. It is slithering forward and it's three operational movements of your bones. You have your shoulders rotating, your elbow pushing out, and then your wrist turning flat, okay? So, and it's coming straight. So this is tan. Then we have fuk. Fuk is when you are blocking and you lay and bridge over someone's hand. Now all these are verbs. Tan, we got fuk. A lot of people do fuk here. You, you should always keep it completely limp. Fuk should be limp. And because it's limp, it should be hanging down. I see a lot of styles that are here, and they're real rigid. You can't be tense and feel the guy. You've got to literally relax so that when he moves, you strike and punch. So you have tan, you have fuk, we have man sao, wu sao. A pa a, when you pack or pop, you are basically doing a man sao, but you're pushing to the side a little bit. You never go past your shoulders. You never do this. And you see it all the time on YouTube. You are coming forward and then smacking, but you want to smack and come back to the middle. It doesn't matter how hard they hit, you are smacking and you move, and you can add the shift with it. So this is the pack. Uh, I did Fook Tan. Uh, we got Bong. Bong is always to be done with. Now, Bong is not the other hand. This is just the Wu Sao hand. Bong is to be done with a shift at all times. Uh, there's a such thing as a wrong bong, which if somebody is throwing uh, their right at me, I should be blocking and turning so that their their arm comes by me. I don't know if the camera flips it, but um, they should their body should be facing this way, their hand going by as I bong. A wrong bong is if they throw that same right and I come in, and now their body's facing me. In other words, I'm on the inside of them. Here, I'm on the outside. So there's bong, but a wrong bong is when you do it on the wrong hand. So if you do a wrong bong, you've got to recover really quick. So this is bong, but when you do bong, you always have wu sao. Every movement you do, your other hand must be wu sao, okay? If, it doesn't matter what it is. This is bu. Now, a bu strike is where you're popping your elbow out, and you're coming at a diagonal point, but you keep your wrist caught. And it's what you see a lot in, in snake kung fu. This is the view. Uh, we have the regular punch. Um, when you do the the punch, and you're you're going to get in a circular motion. Uh, if I was standing on this side looking here, it'd be clockwise. In other words, this comes down, this fires. This comes down, this fires. Comes down, fires. So even though it's making a straight line. It's slightly making a rotation. It's clockwise if I'm standing over here looking this way. When I'm doing a stomach punch, I go reverse to do the stomach punch. 
In other words, I do not do this. Okay, this is the same rotation, even though it's a straight line. No, you go reverse, and then you come back. If I'm going high, I'm doing one way. Going low, I switch. That's the regular punch. Um, you got uh, gone is any time you're, you're, you're blocking, you shift, and yet you can do a gone one-handed. And as I said, the other hand always needs to either be striking or in Wu Sao. So it can be something like this, it can be something like this, or it can be double gone. Now, Quan is where you do a bog and a tan. Quan. Not to be confused with gone. Totally different movements, totally different uh, body sequence. So that's gone and quam. Uh, another one, really hard one, is gum. Now, gum is not to be confused with jump. Gum is when you are you are pushing down, and it can be even from here. I'm pushing down. Okay. Remember, Wing Chun. These are verbs. So gum can be you're up here and you push down. That could be gum. Still want to utilize your back muscles, not your shoulders. You want to utilize, utilize your wrist and elbows. And this is gum. Jum and jut and gum get very confused sometimes when because you're you understand English. In English, it sounds a lot. So within jut, it's where you touch and you're pulling back. You never want to have your elbows go beyond your sideline. So this is jut. Jum, sinking hand. Not to be confused with a dropping motion of gum. So this is gum. Anytime you are putting down, in other words, I touch a guy's hand, I'm putting down his gum. Jut is where I've touched him, pulling back. An easy way to remember this is jut, bring it to your gut. Okay? You're not really bringing it to your gut, but you think of your elbow, bring it to your gut. Now, jum is where I've touched, and he's not, maybe he's not hit as hard or he's quit. And I sink uh, a a uh, a movement where, like in Chi Sao, when you're when you're moving and they touch, and you and you sink, it's it's a very small motion. Okay, so we got gum, jut, and then we got jum. What else is there? We got bong. We did the punch. We did bu. Uh, there's a few others, but I don't really want to go over all them. Those are the basic ones. Those are like you're always going to use tan, hawk. You're going to use fuk a lot. You're going to use bong a lot. Your punches should be the main thing coming out of you. Uh, one way you can tell who's really good at Wing Chun is if they're always on the defensive. Now, yeah, we train to be defensive, and if they're always on the defensive and they're not putting these punches out there, that's how you can kind of tell. The systems because Wing Chun is meant to be very aggressive. You you should be throwing five. I, I mean, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Say um, you should be throwing five punches for every maybe pock you do or bong you do. The reason why is because as you throw a punch, someone hits you, it turns into a bong. Or you throw a punch, someone's coming, it turns into a tank. So you're always thinking of a punch. And, it, and if you see that coming at the last second, and that punch is coming right in your face, you pock. The, in other words, the pock, you don't ever see a punch coming, and then you think, I'm going to tan. I'm going to bomb. Oh, here comes the punch. I'm going to pock. No. You are already firing your fist out there as a weapon. And you already see their weapon coming at you. And as you touch, that's when you tan. As you touch, that's when you bomb. As you touch, that's when you're coming up and you're, you're coming to punch. And maybe it turns into a, a gone or, or a quan. So anyways, you got gum, like chewing gum, pushing down. It can be even from here, pushing down. You've got jut to your gut. You're here. You're jut. Okay? Jut. Now, coming in. You've got gum, which is down. I like to sink my weight even a little bit more at that split second. And, and I mean, you're not supposed to really balance, but I like to come in and... and Sink a little bit more, and it's like I'm falling, and I, I let go of my back leg, and then I catch myself. This way, I'm putting all my weight on the contact of that person's arm, wherever they're at. I'm putting all my weight into it, and then I stop. And it's just to clear coverage so you can hit, OK? 
okay? That's all that is. Uh, got uh, gone, and then you got Juan, you got Pac, you got Man Sao Wusao, which is, I'm just turning so that you can see. All right, you got Man, Man Sao Wusao. Man Sao again is always out. Wusao is about two fist diff, diff, uh, distances on your chest. You got Tan, Pac, you got Punch. And like I said, when you're rotating the punch and you go under, you switch the rotation. Now I'm going this way, now I'm going the opposite way. Now I'm going the opposite way, opposite. Opposite, opposite. Opposite, opposite. Opposite, opposite. So you're switching back and forth on that. Uh, again, you see a lot of people doing this, and they have to in order the switching rotation. This has to, this has to come up rather than drop. Okay, when I'm punching here, this comes, this drops to man style and switches to woo style while the other punch comes in. So the punch that hits, it drops so the other one can come in. Drops, 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 drops. You see that the punch comes in and drops so the other one can slot in. Now when you're coming in for a stomach punch, bam, it doesn't drop, it's got to come up. And it's still coming into a man style position. It doesn't matter whether you have your fist closed or not. When you punch and you come up, this is all already man style. I just don't have my, my hands open. So, again, it's verbs. All this is verbs. It's not the position of your arms. You learn the position of the arms, the bone structure through theory. Okay? When you're learning tan, you can do a tan out here. You can do a tan here. You can do a tan kind of in close, but the more, uh, the more crowded you get, your stomach where you don't have a fist distance away from your ribs, the harder the tan gets. Hell, you can do a tan way out here. It's almost like a reverse view. Um, it's in that split second, okay? What makes it improper is the theories, when you're not connecting where your elbow should be. In other words, your elbow's not on the nipple line. It's not, in the, it's not trying to get uh, the wrist into the center. Um, in other words, you never do a tan way out here. Why would you do that? Even if the guy is standing over there and I'm talking to somebody here, or say I'm talking to somebody over here and this dude's going to throw a punch, I, yeah, you turn your body. So now, this is on my nipple line, this is on the center, and I've dispersed that energy and my wusa hand is up. So I hope this helps. I mean, I'm just, I'm just doing this video so that everybody understands the, the, uh, the verbs and not to get tongue-tied. So you, the hardest ones is gum. You got gum, and this is also gum, where you're you're blocking in the stance and you're pushing down. You, you do that in the first form. You block. This is gum. This is gone with a G. Gone. Like punches coming at you. It's gone. We got quan, which is a pan and a bong. You got bong. Okay, that's bong. But now I got wusao hand up. Okay, not to be confused with. Quan. Now this is not a loose out hand, this is now a bomb. So this is Quan. This is bomb. See the difference? It gets confusing. You got jut, where you're coming back. You man side loose out, you're coming back. And then you got jump, sinking. You're sinking. You're sinking your elbow in your forearm. You think sink. So hopefully that helps.